Hello, welcome back to Better Minecraft Mine Colonies. My name is Shin and uh, welcome to the video series. So first off, a big thank you to my YouTube members and my Patreon dudes. You guys are fantastic. Now this episode we're doing things a little bit differently. So I wanted to try out the premiere feature on YouTube, which means you can watch this episode live at 5pm. And I think it also means you get a chat window on the right. So if you're watching live, hello. Also hello to me, uh, because I think I should be there as well. Anyway, last episode we picked a location for the plantation. So let's start this episode by watching that get built. So all in all, for the plantation, a very simple build with very simple materials required. It was a really big building though, and it took me ages for my builder to clear the area out to get the building built. Also, she left the area looking really ugly, so we'll have to come back and make it pretty. But with the plantation complete, let's get in game and check it out. Okay, so let's get the ball rolling by finding somebody to work in the plantation. And we should have a few dudes left over to work with who don't have any jobs. So let's go and find out. Let's have a look. Plantation. Manage workers and, ah yeah, here we go. Two prospective employees. And wait, hang on a sec. The only people not working are students? Well, that's a bit of a shame, but out of these two dudes, I reckon Jamie Buttsniffer looks like he has the stats we need. 37 and 9. That sounds pretty fine to me. So, Jamie, get over here and start work in the plantation. Now, I'm not sure what a plantation dude needs to do his job. So, let's bring him over here and start to work out how this hut works. There he is. Oh, yeah, looks like a standard farmer dude with a bit of a weird haircut. Oh. Hello, bit of a goatee going on there as well. So, what do you need, Jamie, to get going? I'll take care of it. Aha! Uh -huh. So, he needs sugarcane to get started, and that's it. Now, with the plantation, you can either grow sugarcane or cactus. So, let's see. Tasks, settings, sugarcane, cactus, bamboo. Right, well, sugarcane is the most important one for us, because it turns into paper, and that's something we really need for things like the library. But of course, without the actual goods, this rude dude won't get started. Now, it looks like in the distance, Anna Hamilton is running at us like a crazy demon with, I believe, the sugarcane that Jamie needs to get started. So is he going to get started? Did she drop off sugarcane? Let's find out. Oh, bamboo. No, we don't need bamboo. So I'm going to put this in his hut and let's see if he gets started. Oh, yeah, he smells it. That sugar cane, that sweet, sweet white gold. And there we go. Now, I was a bit let down, actually, by this building, because I imagine, like, whenever I build a plantation in vanilla Minecraft or even modded Minecraft, I build, like, long strips of land and put sugar cane all along the side. I mean, this guy could get way more sugar canes down than this measly little pond. But I have a feeling that the space will improve if we upgrade this hut from level 1 to 2. And level 1 to 2 is probably going to be really simple. Let's take a look. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Seagrass? There are some pretty interesting requirements for this build. Now, we're just going to chuck somebody at this. Ginger the rat, sure. Upgrade this and hopefully she'll get started. So that is how the plantation works. The guy needs agility and I believe uh, another stat that this guy didn't have much of. It can make sugarcane, cactus or bamboo, but it doesn't do it very efficiently. However, because it's automated, it's going to be great for us. Okay, well now it's time to go over to the university and of course do what we do the first of every episode and that's check on the research. Now it's weird to think that some of you guys are watching this live, some of you aren't. So at the same time I can say, hey, Everybody in chat, put a smiley face, and maybe you will, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll just put like an angry face, I don't know. Maybe there's no one watching, that'd be embarrassing. <laughs> but yeah, nervous laughter. Okay, yeah, so the researches that we've done have been completed, and those were Rock and Roll for a Crusher's Hut. We've also done String Work for a Fletcher's Hut. And so that gives us a couple of buildings to work on this episode. Now, one of the big things is that we want a stone smeltery. We also want a glass blower's hut. Both of those require our smeltery to be level three. 
if we want a sifter's hut, the fisherman's hut needs to be level 3. And the mechanic's hut needs the blacksmith to be level 3. So that's going to be an important thing for us to take care of. Until then though, let's see if we can get some iron ore and some iron ingots to get vein miner and ability. Now iron ore is going to be a tricky one because I think our colony automatically filters iron ore directly to our smelter. So I think it's time for me to pick up my pickaxe and go mining for this iron myself. But you know what, that works out kind of quite well because in the background what I can do is set my builders to start working on these buildings that we need at level 3. Now the big one is going to be the smeltery because two buildings are locked behind that. And next up it's going to be the blacksmith I think and then the fisherman's hut. But those are the three buildings we need to level 3 before we can get going any further. So here we are, what up Chuckles Holmes? Now at the moment, IRL, I have a mustache like that. Yeah, most of this should get done in the background. We'll have to come back and make a few of the other things. So boom, upgrade. But we're not gonna do any more buildings just yet because obviously one of the most important things that we're doing is building the Crusher's Hut this episode. And there we go, Alyssa has started work on the Smeltery 3. And I believe Ginger is on the plantation too. Now she's already got 76% of what she needs. That's great. Here we go. Crusher. We need an iron ingot, cobblestone, some planks, and a build tool. We should have all of those. Oh, we don't have the iron. Now we've got to start being careful because our warehouse is filling up with loads. And oh, oh my god, look at this. So I accidentally taught my blacksmith how to make uh, iron buckets now. And what was happening was he was constantly turning all of the iron we had into buckets just so we can get some milk for it and now we have loads and loads of milk that we're kind of never really gonna need um well we'll leave it in here because well what can we do but luckily enough we've turned off the milk farming for our cow hand anyway here we go 44 iron ingots that's plenty let's grab a few out of here now we've also run out of cobblestone i think i put it all in the warehouse so well i'm gonna be a bit, a bit cheeky here and just say hang on a sec there are two bits of cobblestone. There we go, mischief managed. And there we go, the Crusher's Hut. Let's just take the build tool, and now what we're going to do is make an iron pickaxe, and see if we can go and gather some more iron. Oh, but in fact, we've got a guy that's supposed to do the mining for us. Let's go and see the miner and see how he's getting on. Now we've got a new miner on the block now. I think it's Mirabel Kenobi. And her guard is Georgia Weasley. Okay. Now, oh man, this bad boy goes so deep. Look at this thing. And I do also believe that our miner finished mining out this level. They're kind of done with digging out all of this stuff. And so what we have to do now is assign them a new level to mine on. Oh, but before we do, there's some free iron. Don't mind if I do. Or don't mine if I do. <laughs> yeah. Now also, mining is a very dangerous job. Not just in real life, but in Minecraft as well. And if I remember rightly, I think I found one of these levels had exposed a monster dungeon. And you can see there on the map, there's like a skeleton down here. I think it could be this level. Yeah, there it is. That hole, that is a deadly, deadly hole. And if we look inside, I can see a chain, some stone bricks. There is some rude dudes behind there. So, let's go clear these scumbags out. Call me. Oh my god. Now we'll dig up the spawner first. There we go. Mischief managed. I could use a shield, but I can't be bothered. Come on, die, you fool. Now, where's the other spawner? Is there another spawner? No, it looks like there's no other spawners. But yeah, like I said, the miner is a very dangerous job. If he discovers a dungeon while he's clearing out an area, it's probably going to kill him. Whoa, oh my god, a the dragon egg? Pumpkin seeds, always nice. A blue bomb, name tag, bone, gunpowder, and a supply camp chest free. Not a ship, but uh, we could put this down in a cool location. What else is in here? Oh my god, another egg? A couple of music discs, and this is all good stuff. Beetroot, diamond horse armor, nothing in the furnace or crafting table, and of course, a little bit of gold ore. 
which I am not going to leave for sure. Yeah, so what happens is, when you have a miner, and they don't have anywhere to mine, you haven't told them, actually, go to level X and clear out some, some, some mine shafts. If they don't have anything to do, they'll come to the bottom and just start digging the corner here. Now, because our miner is level 3, she's gone almost all the way down to bedrock, which is amazing. What we need to do now is get her digging on a level that's going to get her some diamonds. They're a girl's best friend, and uh, luckily, our miner is a girl too. Okay, so a quick click on the mine building. We'll go to levels, and here you go. So as you can see, on level 5, we've got 8 mine nodes. But nobody set to mine that level. What we're going to do instead now is set them to mine the lowest level, 16 that we can do. And fingers crossed this means we might get diamonds. But what we can also do is help out with the mine because, well, I've got a pickaxe. We're down here on level 16. I could start digging out some areas myself. How's it going, Georgia? And who knows, maybe we'll get lucky, maybe we'll find some iron. At the very least, we'll make the miner's job easier by clearing out some space. Oh, hello. Oh my god. Ooh. So one thing also that's very dangerous is your builder could also discover lava. And if they do, there's a high chance they'll fall in and die. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down and see if we can fill in and neutralize this lava before it becomes a problem. There's also some nice lapis and redstone in here, so it's a bit of a bounty as well. So if you're watching this live and I'm there, um, if you have any tips or suggestions or things, honestly, just just throw them at me. If I'm watching, then I can probably hear, right? So, so yeah, let's go for it. So yeah, let me know if there's anything you think I should be doing. So one of the problems that we have with the research, right, is that it wants iron ore blocks. Unfortunately, this version of Minecraft that we're using, Better Minecraft, it changes uh, iron ore into these iron clumps, raw iron. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure if that'll work with the research. What I want to do though is collect a stack and see if it does. If it does, that's great. If not, I'm probably going to have to cheat the iron into a different type of iron. Which I think is fair because, you know, we got the iron, it's just the game is, you know, kind of broken. So one of the cool things about a mine colony's miner is that while they do dig physical mines, they don't actually have to find the ore that they're looking for. Miners have a very small chance while they're digging cobblestone to just randomly find a piece of ore instead. And a quick look at the clipboard shows us, oh yeah, so our carpenter does know how to make oak shingles, but the carpenter wants some red dye for it. He's got the shingles, he just needs the red dye. Okay, cool, well, we, can, we can handle that. Our builder wants an anvil because we haven't taught the anvil recipe to anybody. Okay, yeah, that's also fair. Gravel is required, apparently. Blocks of coal. Okay, let's go to the warehouse and fill in some of these requests. Oh, no! Barbarians! Man, it's been a while since we've fended off a raid. I hope I've got enough guards now. Where is my banner? Rallying banner. Nine guards attached to this banner. Well, okay, let's do it. They're coming from the northeast, so never eat. Oh, look, and you can see two torches appeared on the map, which I guess means this is exactly where they are. We'll put a waypoint there. Bad dudes. Let's go. Rally the guards. Now, you don't rally them to a point, you rally them to yourself. So it doesn't matter where you put this banner, they'll just come to you. All right, dudes, let's do it. And there they are, the barbarians. Whoa. Oh my god, there's quite a few. One, two. Oh my god, there's loads of them. Luckily enough, we got loads and loads of guards. Look at these rude dudes. Come here, champs. Now, I don't count nine. I count one, two, three, four, five. And I guess Georgia Weasley was in the mine. That's why she's late. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. So we're missing two guards. I wonder what they're doing. Anyway. Oh, here we go. The barbarians are here. Get them, boys. Oh, my God. There's so many. Oh. Now, our guys are wearing chainmail, which fortifies them against these attacks. 
But there's a lot of barbarians here. Oh, this is a real melee. Go on, lads. Go on, lads. Get them. Four ladies left. Three. Two. One. Oh, man. Oh, that was, that was really impressive. So we had loads and loads of barbarians spawn over there. But victory for our dudes, we got all of them killed. That was amazing, honestly. Oh, man, I can't wait until we have, like, a massive colony. And it's, like, 20 guards versus, like, 50 barbarian horde. Oh, man, that's going to be cool. Oof, now, I think, we have, I think we're getting even more buckets of milk. So, you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to teach the blacksmith to not make buckets. Because I think that's becoming a real problem. Have you heard of the legendary material called Rainbow? There we go, bro. Don't make any more buckets. We've probably got plenty of them. Wait a minute now. This is a weird one. The blacksmith isn't the guy that makes blocks of iron? What? That doesn't make any sense. Who makes that? The mechanic? Well, sure, whatever. I guess we're making them manually for now. Okay, so it's the moment of truth. I've got a stack of raw iron and I've got a stack of iron nuggets. So is it going to let me use raw iron instead of the iron ore block? Let's find out. Research. Technology. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Vein miner requires 32 iron ore. And it won't let me. Well, we can do ability. But it looks like I'm going to have to use creative mode to uh, to change the raw iron into, well, the, the Minecraft version from before Caves and Cliffs. Uh, it kind of sucks, but yeah, I guess the mod just isn't quite tweaked to work with better Minecraft. So there we go, we've given this raw iron to uh, the gods of Minecraft, I suppose, Notch. Is he still the Minecraft god? I suppose so. And we've got these 32 iron ores. Let's see if this works for the research. It should do. Yeah, there we go, vein miner. So that's fine. And these two researches should be happening in the background. Okay, cool. Well, we'll leave the guys here to it. And let's go and find a place to put our crusher's hut. Now, I prepared the area underneath the mountain because I thought we could put some of the really kind of industrial, heavy industry uh, buildings over there. And I feel like the crusher... Oops, where am I going? I feel like the crusher is definitely one of those buildings, right? It's like a very heavy duty, you know... Lean, mean, yeah, hard work gets done here, building. Unlike the Fletcher's Hut, which is basically a joke. So let's see if we can fit the Crusher's Hut in this space. Now, I think it should be big enough, but it might not be. Aha, it actually looks like it's the perfect size in here. So this is the Crusher's Hut, and this is Medieval Oak. Is there an alternative? No, there's only medieval oak. And this is very, very, very cool. So what does this thing look like at level five? Level one, two, three, four, five. Whoa, okay. So it looks like we did not anticipate how big this building would be vertically. It looks like the Crusher's Hut is actually really, really, really tall. Taller than any building we've had so far. So I think the Crusher's Hut might kind of have to live out here. Yeah, because I think unfortunately our cave section here isn't quite deep enough. Honestly, I thought it would be I thought it'd be really, really, really deep that the roof is really high. But it turns out not high enough for a crusher's hut. Well, that's okay, not really a problem, because we do have this extra space over here anyway. It's very much on the edge of the colony and we'll have to make some modifications to that wooden platform up there, but this is actually the perfect spot for the Crusher's Hut. So we're gonna pull the trigger on this and say, yeah, we're ready. Now, how are our builders getting on with what we tasked them with? Ginger the Rat is almost done with the plantation. Well, she's not really almost done, but she's got most of what she needs. Doesn't have the seagrass, that could be tricky. Ah, but Alyssa Jack is almost done with Smeltery 3. She just needs these red clay shingle slabs. Well, in that case, what we can do is go and find some seagrass. So I think you use shears to gather them up, right? Just like kelp. 
And let's go and grab some seagrass. And I think seagrass you actually find in the water at rivers as well as the sea. Well, hopefully. Eh, what up, Patches Hero Brian? Why is he called Hero Brian? Is he like a very salty dude? I don't know. Okay, seagrass. Is this seagrass? Yeah, it is. Okay, perfect. And, yeah, looks like we're clipping it up. Very nice. There we go. 32 seagrass. This stuff is way easier to get than kelp, which is like a real nightmare. Oh my god! Oh my god! What? Hero... What? Patches Hero Brian? How? How? Did he drown? Does it say? There has been a death. Mob. Oh, a monster killed him. What the hell? We just saw him two minutes ago and he was fine. Oh my god. Oh. What killed him? Also, where did he die? Where's his grave? He should have been here. Frickety frack. What the hell is that? Oh my god, I think that's what killed him. What is that? What is that thing? Did you kill our... A hunger? Did you kill our fisherman? Is that what you did? What the freaking hell is this thing? What a weird dude. Well, I'm gonna kill it, because... Come here. There we go. Bottles of enchanting. Aha! There it is. So for some reason, he was all the way out here. And he got killed by, I guess, some monsters on the edge of the colony. Oh no, it must have been that, that weird, snappy, mouthy dude. Ugh. Oh, that really sucks. That really sucks. Well, what can you do? It's gonna happen, right? It's unavoidable. Sometimes, colonists are just gonna die. We're just gonna have to learn from it and go with it. Oh my god, Patches Hero Brian. What a sad, sad, sad day. So, in chat, if you put uh, RIP Patches, I will heart the comments because, oh man, respect to that dude. He didn't even get to fish. We never gave him a fishing rod. He spent like weeks just sat on the coast wishing he could fish. And then he got eaten by some weird dog with a massive mouth. Honestly, dark days. Dark, dark, dark days. Here he is, his brother Rob. Mourning the loss of Patches. Oh, it was it, it, it couldn't be helped though. It could not be helped. Oh yeah, as you can see, we decorated the area around the florist with these pretty cool hedges and flowers. Because I wanted you to really know that this is a florist, and uh, I think without these things, it kind of just looks like a dirt farm. Isn't that right, Kevin? Now, while we wait for the builder to put the finishing touches on what they're doing, we can build, of course, the Fletcher's Hut, and this is pretty simple as well. String, a build tool, and planks. Got it all in the bag. Now, for the Fletcher's Hut, I want to put this up above our dugout area. I want to start using this wooden platform up here and put the first building here. Now, I'm not sure if the Fletcher's Hut is going to fit up here, but I think the Fletcher's Hut, the dye merchant, and uh, maybe an enchanter would be perfect up here because it's nice, it's elevated, and I think these are kind of buildings that will be worked in by uh, kind of very, very, very experienced high-end tradesmen. This is kind of like the rich merchants area. So how big is the Fletcher? Oh wow, okay, the Fletcher is not a small building. Why am I always surprised by how big these buildings are? But you know what, that's A-OK, -okay. that's absolutely fine. We can still squeeze it in here. And yeah, I think this looks pretty good. The builder's gonna have to remove some trees and some dirt, but at least it'd be well protected, right? We've always got those guards up there looking down, keeping this area safe. So the Fletcher's Hut level one looks like this. Is there an alternative version? There isn't. At level two, it looks like this. And then it's three, four, and five, finally. Ooh, pink, very weird. But you know what? It looks pretty cool. And again, pull the trigger on that. Get that done in the background. Oh man, dark days, dark days indeed. So as you can see down here, is it gonna say that he died in the uh, permission events? No. 
Yeah, here we go. Oh wait, Citizen was slain by hunger. Patches was hungry? What? what we have we have a chef, right? We must have food, right? How, how can he die from hunger? We've got loads of food here on the colony. But it does make me realize, actually, we should probably make a baker sometime soon as well. And I think a baker would work perfectly up there with the Fletcher above Crafting District. Oh, uh, hey, now we had a colonist die, and it looks like Mr. Endo has arrived again. And we said we'd try and get this guy oh, in the colony. <gasps> enough for you. 31 hay bales. He's finally cheap. He's got great stats. This is the one. This is it. Now, rest in peace, my old mouse, because unfortunately, my dog chewed the mouse cable and broke my mouse. So I don't have my auto-click macro. Devastating news, I know. So we're slumming it up with just a normal old right-click technique. There we go, 36 bales. Let's go and find him. Mixter Endo Wilson. Oh, look at that. Ginger's finished as well. That's great news. Mixter Endo Wilson. Anna, the layer of ladies. Caleb, ass chaps. What the hell's happened there? Whoops. Where are you, Mixter Endo? Here he is, Wilson. What can I do for you? 31 hay bales. Bam! Welcome to the colony. Oh, amazing. And Mixter Endo. Uh, now, don't be alarmed, but I think I might be putting you to our new job when we get the Crusher's Hut built. So Ginger the Rat has just finished Plantation Level 2. Let's go and check it out, see what this bad boy looks like now that it's been upgraded. Oh, so it looks like she's built like a weird kind of water wheel here. Okay, fair enough. Is there any other real tangible change to this build? Aha, yeah, it looks like the capacity for sugar canes has gone up. You can have roughly twice as many sugar canes here now on this plantation. That's pretty good. Tarquin DiCaprio just successfully reduced the need for sticks when they make a stone axe. I did not know they could do that. So colonists can get more efficient at recipes now as they do them. That's really cool. Well, okay, Ginger is free. Let's get her working on the Crusher's Hut. The rec oh my God, I've never seen a more simple build. Look at this. It requires planks. Basically, it's all oak wood. Wow, the most difficult craft here is probably uh, a torch. That's crazy. Well, okay, Ginger, let's get you on it. The carpenter should have no problem rustling up all of this stuff. Oh, hey, whoa, what's this? Double trouble? It looks like uh, Alyssa has given us an achievement. What does double trouble do, though? Oh, check this out. Look at this. A level three smeltery has a 100% chance of doubling ore outputs. Oh, that's amazing. That's so good. So what does it look like? Oof. Oh, yeah, it's looking like a real fancy looking building now. I'm very impressed. And you guys have said that this and the blacksmith were too close to each other. So I was a little bit worried about them uh, treading on each other's toes. But it looks like I don't really have to worry about that. So now Alyssa is done with the smeltery. While we watch the Crusher get built, let's go and have her work on the blacksmith. So the Crusher's hurt. Now I was super impressed at how cool this building looks at level 5. It's got like this massive spinning wheel that I can just imagine that spinning, crushing rocks. It sounds like it's going to be a really good, cool looking building. But it also made me realize that I can use some things from Create to make all of the water wheels that we currently have like the one over by the carpenter, actually spin and look really cool. So between this and next episode, I will be replacing some of those water wheels with create versions that should look way, way, way cooler. Now the crusher being locked behind level two research and needing another building at level three, I honestly expected the building materials to be so much more demanding than just basically oak wood. And again, like I've said before, the Crusher is a very important hut that opens up the ability to get sand and clay and gravel all from cobblestone. And that in itself is going to save me a whole lot of shovel time. So as you can see, the hut is complete. Now, the builder did shave off a very small part of the platform above, but I think we can work with that. We can neaten that up. 
make it all look tidy. So let's go and see what this building needs. Hey, what up, Ginge? Thank you for the amazing build. So where is the block? Here it is. Oh, lever. Does this actually have a use or a function? I don't think it does. But okay, so I guess the idea is this is the crusher block and it's attached to a giant wheel that spins and crushes stuff, eh? Oh, wow, all these guys want to see how the crushing hut works. Well, let's find out. It looks very simple. There are no settings to speak of, no tasks. <laughs> Custom recipes wise, okay, so it comes with a stock list of recipes it can do. Who are we gonna hire to work here? Uh -huh. Now it looks like the choices are either Mixerendo, who, oh man, a strength of one, Mixerendo is a massive weakling. But we can worry about best stats later. At the moment, all we want is for somebody to be working here. So we'll get Perry in here straight away. <laughs> what's, what's so funny, Georgia? Ginger? Anyway, let's teleport him over here, see what he looks like. Oh man, oh, he looks like the smelter. Nice mustache, bro. So my dudes, thank you for watching this episode of Better Minecraft Mine Colonies. If you watched through live with me via YouTube Premiere, hey, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe next time it will be Premiere, maybe next time it won't be. We'll see based on how well this did, how well it was received. If you like it live, say so. If you hate it live, also say so. Between now and next episode, what I'll do is replace some of the water wheels with Create versions. And also I'll get that Fletcher's Hut up there built on the platform as well. A big thank you to YouTube members and my Patreon dudes. But until next time, thank you for watching and take care.